back design squad what is up in this video for actual noob to master series we're gonna cover one of the new functionalities in action which is available with the newest release depending where, when you're watching this in the future you should be able to access this functionality and specifically it's about pre-built components which are interactive and you know many of you asked questions like oh how do i do a slider how do i do tabs how do i do a slideshow so it works things of that nature I've shown you before in my playlist, I have over 80 videos covering all those use cases. There is a link down below in the description if you wanna check how to make it custom and very advanced. Now in this case, Axure finally provided some functionality which you can drag and drop and then customize based on your needs. And let me show you it. So basically if you just update, if it's, you know, if you're watching this as a fresh, you can just update it and you're gonna have this all libraries functionality. Now, all you have to do is just go into that dropdown and then just select sample UI patterns. So this is the new functionality of an actual realm. Click on that and you're gonna have several different components predefined for you. And as you can see, it's, you know, it's quite a few of them. Some of it is quite static. So let's say card, it's like nothing new. You can add interactions if you want, as you can see, nothing happens here no actions are predefined. So that's very basic template. There is tooltips, let's say, which is actually functional. So as you can see a hidden message, that's pretty cool. There are charts as well. Of course, it's not interactive. Uh, login forms, which has some capability in it. So let's say you can toggle different things. There is a lot of different bits here defined and just to preview it really quick. I guess one thing to note is that you can do a lot. So as you can see, imagine that you click login button, it shows you that model. And then you can log in. As you can see, there's pre-built error messages. You can maybe enter something. Imagine that you add validation at next pages and you are sorted. Then you have bits like which I really found myself useful right now to drag and drop is something like, let's say sortable and fil filterable table. You can just basically define different bits or you can just basically hack it and then it's gonna be functional for you. As you can see, it just pre-filters it. So you don't have to spend hours crafting repeaters anymore or following my tutorials even. You can just drag and drop and just update these fields, duplicate the efforts, see exactly how it's being sorted, what's being selected, things of that nature. As you can see, there's a lot of different bits and they're using table for this one as well. So other functionalities, which is definitely worth highlighting before you go and explore yourself, things like for example tabs which is easy to make for me it just would take like two minutes but i know beginners would actually benefit from this same for the slideshow because you need to have a good logic so it actually switches the states uh same for the carousels as well if you want to do like item carousel this is it and there are many more bits like that which you, you would definitely need to explore but on a micro level what i first and foremost was like okay there is something to it is for example, things like the slider. Now, if I preview, you're gonna notice that it doesn't really do much, right? You can change a position, you can drag it, you can indicate what's active, what's not, and it doesn't change any numbers. For example, for you immediately, you could just reuse this pattern, add maybe a text field, uh, calculate the percentages or add hotspots exactly where they are, check that the state matches, update the number, all good. So it's a beginner bit. There is also like, for example, tabs or groups of things. So something you can actually toggle. So for example, if I toggle these bits, as you can see, it's all toggleable. That's pretty good. And there is also selection fields. So drop downs, calendar pickers, time pickers, input steppers, predictive search. As you can see, it's almost like they are creating a very basic design system for you guys to then go and, and hack and experiment with. As you can see, you can also add values. You can select different multi options. You can select the date. And as you can see, it pulls the actual dates, for example, or some data into it. You can select the time too, if you want to. And of course, the styling here is off. It's very basic. But the point is that it actually works and it gives you some sort of functionality to play with. So that's really cool new addition to Axure. And I actually, you know, always hoped that Axure would have their own component library or, you know, something beyond the basic drag and drop library elements we had be from before. 
I always hoped that they would actually go that design system route where you have atomic design principles and you can scale from smallest bits like these, let's say, from the atoms, from colors, from textiles, into the you know molecules and so forth and roll it out that way so you actually can work with other people really quickly you can prototype it really quickly and it's much more efficient for anyone to just keep the design consistent and so i'm really happy about this update i'm sure you're gonna be too because majority of you are either beginners or more advanced some of you are pros but even as a pro, like I would benefit from this because now I don't need to spend, you know, 15 minutes crafting a slider. All I need to do is spend five minutes adding an input field and I can update that value using some logic. And if you want to know how to do that, go back into a playlist, browse for a video called something like how to make a custom slider and then you're gonna know exactly how to do so. If you like this video as per usual, give a like, subscribe to this channel share it with your friends, and as per usual, I'll see you next time.